it's Ellie. Welcome to Scale Addiction. In today's video, we're gonna be converting my Toyota Supra project into electrical version because some of you have been asking me, let's make a project without using this engine. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So I will be using this brushless combo. It's a 4370 kV motor with 3S LiPo battery. It's, it's not crazy powerful, but let's see how it's gonna be with the transmission. So my idea is to remove the engine and put that motor over here and we will still have the three speed transmission but without the clutch because i will remove that and the clutch as well so the motor will be here the good thing about this we will have reverse as well but there are bad sides about this conversion we're gonna lose all that realistic look but we're gonna have to do something about it for the next video we're gonna be 3d printing a 2jz looking engine and we're gonna put it here but that's gonna be for the next video and we also don't need this servo here we're gonna remove all that and then put that combo over there Alright, I just removed the engine and all the electronics for the engine and also the servo for the throttle, clutch, the servo for the clutch and also the transmission. Now we're gonna put the motor on the transmission and put it back over there and it's already feeling lighter. You can see the front is lifting and I have to adjust the shocks again. So if we put the motor and the transmission in the front, it will compensate the weight. But I have another idea to design and 3D print the whole 2JZ engine and put it in the front. But if you put it like this, then I have to put a cover without that much detail. But I will put that in the middle and then for the next video, we will be 3D printing the whole engine and put it here. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Think about PCBWay as all-in-one platform for CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. If you are working on a custom design like me and you want to have highest 3D print quality, this is the way to go. You just have to upload the STL file here, choose the material, and it will tell you the price and shipping days. PCBWay is linked in the video description box below for more information. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video.
All right, everything works good. I'm a bit concerned about changing gears because it's changed very hard and I hope not gonna break the pins, but if it breaks the pins, we're gonna have to replace them with a metal one. But overall, it looks great and we're gonna take it out for a test drive. We are back driving it is pretty fun till the second gear but after the second gear at the third gear it's a bit hard to handle it because it doesn't have sway bar length so the car goes to the side that's why I couldn't go above that I will be designing sway bar length for the front and the back and then we will take it on a road and test it for the top speed but for now we're gonna put the door and the hood on and then we're done All right, finally, we have all the panels on the car and we have the Supra look. So for the next video, we're going to be designing and 3D printing 2JZ engine. I found some pretty good models for 2JZ engine. If it suits our Supra, I will download that and put the link in the video description box below. Otherwise, I have to modify it or design my own. So that's for this video. Hope you guys enjoying the project as I do. If you do, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.